So I uploaded a video yesterday, yesterday evening, and I left it up overnight. I woke up this morning and there was a comment on there complaining about the audio and well, it's, he had a point. <laughs> the audio is pretty terrible. And I know the audio is terrible on a lot of my videos, but I thought, well, maybe, so I pulled the video down. I was like, there's actually a lot of stuff in it I could trim out anyways. And there was, anyways, and I got a couple of good clips today too. So I decided to pull that video down and I'm going to take out some of the best clips from it and reuse them. I think the rest of it I'm just going to trash. And I'm going to add a few new clips to it. So if you see some stuff that you saw before and now that video has gone and you're seeing a couple of those clips again, that's why. And I know the audio is bad on a lot of my stuff. A lot of the time I'm filming um, in like 30, 40 mile an hour winds is not uncommon. In fact, it's usually extremely windy where I'm hunting. Um, so... You know, it's one of those things. I mean, I do enjoy making the YouTube videos, but really my primary focus is the hunting and the video making is kind of an afterthought. So, you know, I'm walking along in whatever conditions I'm in and I happen to find something on the ground. I just pull up my phone and start videotaping. So, um, and there's no redos, you know, I mean, there's been some incredible finds that I've made that the, the footage just sucks so bad when I review it. It doesn't end up making the cut and you guys never get to see it, but it kind of is what it is, you know, and sometimes I use stuff that's got bad audio because it's a good find and I don't want to, I want to be able to show it, but you know, there's no redos when I'm picking stuff up off the ground. It's, if it comes out bad, I'm not going to stage it and redo it. You know, I'm just not going to do that. So sometimes the footage comes out good. Sometimes it comes out bad. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, I'm going to compile this into a new video. I got two really good finds today. I'm pretty excited about, and they're going to make it into the new video, but, um, happy hunting everybody. Oh, also Caleb, um, if you want to see Caleb's finds, he has started filming his own stuff and he wants to make his own channel. So, um, everything that he finds is going to be on his own channel. So if you want to see the stuff that he's finding, follow him and his channel is going to be called Caleb hunts. And, um, I mean, you've seen some of the stuff that he finds from time to time. He has found some killers. So check that out and, uh, happy hunting everybody. Good luck. Caleb and I have been waiting and waiting to hunt this spot and we only get the correct conditions to really hunt this spot maybe five or six times a year. We just got here and I've already got one. Kind of has a rice lobed look to it. Last four hunts come up with nothing good. Looks like I finally have something pretty decent here. Looks well made anyhow. Yeah, that's a nice one. Got a real good tip on it too. Good material too. That's a that's a good one. Caleb and I are out today. This area looks absolutely incredible. We'll see what we can do. I think I've got something here I've always wanted to find, but I've never found one in all my walking. I'm pretty sure that's an Aga Basin. Or Packard Complex, whatever you want to call it. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. This looks kind of good. Yeah, that's a nice one.
Oh yeah, that'll do. Missing a little off the base. That is crazy, crazy. It's gonna go right there too. God dang it! That material. We were just walking along to get to our spot and we weren't even really looking. Man, I almost walked right past this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's a pretty good start. Wish me luck on this one. I have no idea what I got here. That might be another agate basin. No agate basin in 14 years, 15 years, and then two in a week. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'll clean it up and give you a better view. It's got an extremely heavy patina on it. It's kind of hard to see the flaking. <laughs> 